Hi, my name is Emily Anderson, and I feel very blessed to be your child's first grade teacher this year. I grew up in a K-12 Catholic school, and I went on to um, St. Thomas, which is a Catholic university. This was my first job out of college, and I feel just so so comfortable teaching in a Catholic school. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to um, have launched my career and gain experience while teaching at a Catholic school. This is my eighth year teaching first grade. Every year gets more fun and um, I love it even more. I recently completed my master's degree um, through the Murray Institute at St. Thomas this summer. And so I'm um, qualified as a reading um, teacher and so that feels really, really great. Um, when I first started teaching at St. Ambrose, I really, I understood how special it is um, to teach at a Catholic school, but eight years in and I feel, I feel just like overwhelmed with gratitude for getting to share my faith and share the love that I have for students with students and families. When I was um, a new student at my Catholic school in Mankato, Sister Mary Donald was the principal and I was entering fourth grade when I was new. My sister was an incoming kindergartner. Sister Mary Donald took my dad by the hand and said, like, we will love Emily like you love Emily. And that kind of just like sealed the deal for why my parents chose to send us to Loyola Catholic school. But I feel that same way about your children. And um, I, I will love your children like you love your children, and I will tell them how much you love your children and how much God loves them, too. That's really important to me. Um, your student will be bringing home a nifty little flip book um, with information that I'll be telling you in this video. So first, there is a page on contact information. My email address is on there, and my school phone is on there, too. Please know that I'm my main priority is teaching your children. So I might not see an email right away, but I will always see emails like over lunch when I have a little chance to sit down. If there's a change in your child's schedule, a note or an email is fabulous. I can print it out and stick it near my door. But if your plans change after lunch and I might not be able to sit down and see the email, calling Janet in the office will be your best way to make sure your student goes the wrong way. I don't wanna send them. The wrong way. Um, there's a birthdays page and we already sent home a little sheet about birthdays to be um, conscious of everybody. We don't do food at birthdays. Instead, we do like little trinkets and um, that's not, it's totally up to you if your family wants to choose to do that or not. It's, um, we always have like a little birthday crown for your student in class and we, we make their day special no matter what. So there is no pressure to do that. And if you are inviting um, inviting your whole class to a birthday party, go ahead and send invites to school and I'll make sure they get in mailboxes. But if it's if it's only for a few students, I'm sure you understand that you should um, find a different way to get to get them to the families so that we don't have any hurt feelings. Thank you. Um, the next page talks about our schedule and what specialists we go to at the at what, at what day we go to, um, the most important thing that you know is that students can start coming to school at nine o'clock. The bell to start school starts at 9.20 and our lunch is at 11.20 and we are at recess until 12.15. We also will start dismissing parent pickup at three, I think, I think 3.40 is when they say parent pickup, but I always bring the first graders to the front of the building a little earlier before the big rush of the kids. And then the school bus will pick up by 9, by 3.15, sorry. Um, one thing about PE, we have PE on Wednesdays and Fridays and proper shoe wear is like a must with Mrs. Sporbrilla. And so that's really important. <laughs> That's a good segue into our uniform policy. I have the uniform policy listed on one of the pages on your flipbook. And so if you need a review of that, um, it's important that boys wearing shirts that don't have the band have their shirts tucked. And boys that don't have that do have a band don't have to tuck it. Um, 
those are some of the big things that we see in first grade and um, shoes and socks and hair accessories are just something good to, to brush up on to make sure that you're in compliance with our uniform policy. <laughs> All right, first grade homework. First graders are expected to read for 20 minutes every night. This means being read to or reading to a stuffed animal or a pet or a sibling, all of that counts. 20 minutes reading is, is good reading. Children are born on the, the laps, sorry, <laughs> readers. <laughs> readers are born on the laps of their parents. And so anytime your kid can be reading a book, whether you're reading to them or they're reading to you is, is good. Sharing, sharing reading together is like just so important. So thank you for keeping that in mind. Um, your child will be getting a math homework sheet sent home most nights. It'll be orange, orangish with my homework written on the top. That's the homework our curriculum supplies and that will come home most every night except when we have special days or like, or sorry, we, we have test days or a special day like the day before Christmas break. I don't think there's homework that day and certain, certain fun days like that. Um, the homework should be completed at home in pencil by the student and then return to school the next day. I'm really just trying to get them into the habit of that homework and that accountability, that responsibility piece. I will, I will mark who doesn't have their homework done and I'll follow up with them, but they won't ever get in big trouble for not bringing their homework. We just want to really encourage good habits as they learn how to do that routine of homework being brought back home to school. Um, basic addition and subtraction facts can be practiced each day. Flashcards are great. IXL is just great for that kind of small, doesn't take long. Car rides are great for that too. Um, on the bottom of the homework, there's always like a home connection at the very bottom. And that's a good way to get parents involved in kind of the skill that we've been practicing. Most, sometimes um, the math homework will have a vocabulary word and that's really important um, for kids to practice at home. Every chapter also comes with a packet that's not homework, but it comes, it tells you all the vocab for the chapter, which is excellent because on the quizzes and tests, there's always um, part, a part for the vocab and some kids do really well because I can tell that they study at home and other kids uh, might get some wrong and that's a really easy way to avoid getting them wrong. Some easy points if you know your vocabulary words. Um, you'll have a take home, each kid has a take home folder and anything that's unfinished from the, from the school day might be brought home to finish at home. Please check that take home folder every day. Um, but there's usually like just a math homework, not too much. Keep an eye out for sign up genius emails. Sometimes I need stuff from the classroom for the classroom. Other times we have um, we have like class parties and we bring in snacks. I'll ask for volunteers to bring in snacks. So Sign Up Genius will be my way of communicating those needs. Thank you very much. And we will start sending home Scholastic book orders, which is really fun. Every time you order from Scholastic, you get um, you help me get free books and free points for big cool books for our classroom library. So thank you for. Um, not only supporting your child's love of reading, but helping our classroom library grow and get new and cool titles also. The code that I listed there is how you can order online. We do exclusive, oh dear. <laughs> we do exclusive online um, ordering, which is really slick. They even ship it to your house, which is really nice. Um, you can share that code with grandparents or aunts and uncles or neighbors or anyone that maybe wants to order books for their student, their kids or your kids. My mom has that code and she buys books <laughs> for us too, <laughs> which is kind of fun. Okay, on the very last page, we have a list of our curriculum and under language arts, I wanna tell you about Groves first. Groves is um, 
The Believe and Read program is through Groves Academy, and we just started it last year. Last year was like our pilot year. It was also like I was hybrid. I had a camera on me always, and I was teaching kids at home, and it was just like crazy. But we threw ourselves into Groves, and now after one year of teaching it, I feel like much more confident about it. I really was, I loved I loved the systematic and like predictable routine that we created with Groves. I loved the progress that I saw with kids in their reading and their spelling and their handwriting during Groves. All of those things I taught so much better because of Groves and I was just like so impressed with the program. Every week in Groves has five days. Sometimes like right now we're doing, we did day two, We'll end this week on day five, which will be great, but some days, some weeks we will be kind of messed up on the days just because we don't always have five days in a week. On day five of every week, there's a Groves assessment that's taking place of our, our old, how we remember spelling tests in our childhood. Um, kids are not taking home lists and memorizing them and then testing on them at school. Instead, we are working really hard all week to practice certain spelling skills and practice sight words um, instead. And then on the day five, I assess that. I assess them with a dictation. So I read, I read words and have them write it. I'm able to track and see progress and areas of growth that need to happen with Groves. Um, but you'll see that day five assessment coming back and you can always choose to study those words um, to improve their score for next time. A lot of the words are repeated and we spend a lot of time on one specific spelling pattern. Um, it's, it's really great. Um, we also supplement with our interreading system, which is from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. And we, um, get our most of our like literature through there, which is great. Kids keep a into reading book in their book bin and there's some really great read alouds that we read as a class. For math, we use my math from McGraw Hill. We have a religion book called Alive in Christ and we also incorporate um, the St. Ambrose Way virtues. And right now we're doing Catholic social teaching in religion class. Social studies, we use a book called My World by Pearson. We also use social studies in like many other parts of the day when we talk about events and holidays and um, social skills and some things like that right now in the beginning of the year where we're talking about what it means to be a friend and stuff like that. We use a book, um, a science book from Macmillan, McGraw Hill. We have big books for those, so we do them all class like as a, as a whole group, um, our, our science books and our social studies books are really about exposure and, and creating um, a classroom that is excited about those topics and discussions. And we never assess those topics. Um, so they your child will always get a three on their report card um, during those testing periods, reporting periods. <laughs> and um, I think I think that's it. There's a little poem on the back of this book. I'll read it to you right now. My promise to you. I promise you every day your child will learn something. Some days they will bring it home in their hands. Some days they will bring it home in their head. And some days they will bring it home in their hearts. That's a poem by Valerie Wilk. I feel very, very excited about this class. I know it's only day four, but I can tell that they're a really great group of kids. And I'm excited to partner with you as we navigate this school year together. Please don't hesitate to reach out. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.